Both Psalm 99 and Deuteronomy chapter 9 proclaim the greatness of God and His generosity. However, these passages also recognize the frailty of humans in obeying this merciful God. As written in Psalm 99 verse 8, You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Oops. And in Deuteronomy chapter 9 verses 6 and 7, Understand then that it is not because of your righteousness that the Lord your God is giving you this good land to possess, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember this, and never forget how you aroused the anger of the Lord your God in the wilderness. God acknowledges Moses and Aaron as his priests in verse 6 of Psalm 99, and in Deuteronomy, Moses stands in the gap when God declares that he wants to blot their name from heaven. Pretty serious stuff because of their worship of the golden calf. Those days of God's punishment are supposedly over with Jesus' atonement and resurrection. But are they? Hebrews chapter 12 discusses how God still chastises and disciplines those he loves. This is very bothersome to me, especially when the word scourge is used. As an abused child, this does not sit well with me. But at the same time, I believe God is a holy God, and we are becoming a part of his reign of righteousness and holiness. He probably doesn't like sin to reign in our lives in their place. As difficult as it is for me to receive this warning, I do believe that sometimes discipline is necessary, so that as Christians we don't follow the way of the world, and think that God will turn a blind eye to choices we make which disfavor God. My nose at times gets out of joint, and I border on rebellion when I feel the discipline is too much. As a parent, though, I would be unhappy if my children chose to follow ways that would be harmful to them or to others. I would discipline them. Touché.